Transmission jammed. Proximity coverage only. Hey guys, Jake here. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about something a little different. Uh, I've had a few people bring this to my attention and saying I should make a video on it. I've gotten messages in my Discord. I've gotten messages on Xbox. So I've decided to make a quick little video on this and give my overall opinion. And that's going to be the background change for Red Storm Entertainment's Twitter feed. Now, this could mean just that they're back and working on Division 3 or they're working on something for Division 2. And to be honest, what I think this is going to be is going to be a little bit of both. I think that Division 2, uh, as you guys know, is pretty much coming towards an end. We get the optimization station in TU-12 and the extra inventory in space and a decent amount of exotics, a new gear set, and also we get the new brand set, which I'm very excited for for all those things. Um, but most likely, at least what I think, um, you know, Division 2 is ending, but yes, we know. But I don't think we'll see... Division 3 at least till another year. So that leaves a whole another year of just emptiness and nothing to do. Uh, what I feel like they might do is they might pull a 1.8.3 and they might give us a final area like West Side Pier with Skirmish and Resistance, which we got in that. But I think they're going to flip it now and we'll potentially get something like the Last Stand DLC or maybe even something like the Survival DLC. I'm not 100% sure on this, but I also feel like that most of this content is going to be going into the New York City expansion, mostly due to the fact that we got Summit in New York City. That's kind of where it's located. Um, but an overall look at DC, you guys will notice we got the Pentagon, we have the raids, you know, we even have Camp White Oak, Coney Island, the zoo, Kinley College, and we also have Summit. Now, there's also a few other things we have, like, you know, obviously the Strongholds, um, and also, you know, stuff like that in the control points. But overall, we have a pretty decent amount of content in the open world in DC. I'm just not 100% sure where they would add even more DZs into this area. If they do, I'd be impressed if, you know, where they put them. Uh, originally, I thought what they were going to do was going to actually cut out this whole area up top right here and put a DZ up there, but they did not. Uh, but one area where I think they will make a DZ and put stuff in is going to be New York. And as you guys see, we have a lot of room up here, and we also have across the water, uh, on the bridges. Now, it's going to be a little bit different. We may not be able to fast travel, um, or walk, that is, to this area, that, because the bridges are pretty much destroyed. But they could make it where we could fast travel over here to these DZs and go into them. Or, they might make it where there's little bubble icons, like over here and over here, that lead us to new game modes and new areas that are kind of on the outskirts of New York, and you know stuff like that. Um, but overall, that's pretty much what I think this is going to happen. I think it's kind of necessary to have a PvP style update, mostly due to the fact that the DZs in this game are way smaller than the ones in Division 1, mostly due to the fact that they chose graphics over player count, because that's kind of how Division 1 um, is a little different from Division 2, mostly due to the fact we had one uh, kind of color, it was white and gray, and there was barely any details on the buildings, but in this game, as you guys will see, there's tons and tons of detail. Now, a few other things they could add is going to be stuff for conflict. They could add new uh, conflict maps, which I think would make a lot of the conflict players happy if they added, you know, uh, three or four new maps in there as a final, um, you know, point for conflict. You know, the new DZs would be really nice if they added at least two more in New York City to give players something to do. And then maybe potentially two new game modes. They don't have to be large game modes, um, but, you know, they could add little bubbles like the Pentagon here and give us new areas uh, and you know to explore and new stuff to do so what I think they could do is have it kind of in the middle they could make the game mode PvP and PvE orientated so they could have you know kind of like survival where you can switch back and forth or they can make a PvE game mode and a PvP game if they really wanted to um, but you know in Red Storm's reputation I think that for one this is going to be at least new Dark Zones I feel like there's going to be two new DZs in New York City and that's what the whole PvP update's going to be about. I think there's going to be a decent amount of new weapons. And also, potentially, we'll be getting a few more seasons to wrap up the end of the game. And then, eventually, we'll get the reveal of Division 3. And that will be coming out, potentially, on the Xbox Series X for an exclusive. Um, I don't think it will be on the Xbox Original, or Xbox One Original, that is, or Series X, or even on the PS4, the PS4 Pro, due to the fact that I think that... Uh, Massive and Red Storm are going to be making a massive division game, and they're going to have the DZs, you know, insanely huge, so they could have player count, and they could have the DZs, um, you know, way bigger, and also have the map way bigger, so they get both for PvP and PvE, and they add stuff, you know, like like raids. They could add stuff like the incursions, 
uh, you know, have multiple game modes and also have the giant dark zone that a lot of players want. Uh, but overall, that's pretty much what I think about the whole Red Storm thing. I know it's a kind of a weird topic to talk about, but I've had a lot of people ask me about it when I think about it and what I think is going to happen in the future of Division. But overall, I think we'll get one more update after TU12, uh, or at least maybe one or two more updates in you know Division. That will be the PvP update and maybe a new game mode update, and that will be it. Uh, I know some people are going to say, why not a new raid? If they make a new raid on this game, I will be very impressed. And I know Massive is a little sneaky because they worked on, you know, Warlords for so long. And hell, they could maybe even putting in another expansion at the very end of this just to wrap it up. But really, who knows? We'll just have to see what happens. But thank you guys all for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more Division 2 content. And I'll catch you guys all later.